Alexis Andrew Nicholas Kerner, known professionally as Alexis Corner, was a British blues musician and radio broadcaster, who has sometimes been referred to as a founding father of British blues. A major influence on the sound of the British music scene in the 1960s, Corner was instrumental in the formation of several notable British bands including the Rolling Stones and Free. Alexis Andrew Nicholas Kerner was born on April 19, 1928 in Paris, France, to an Austrian Jewish father and a mother of Greek, Turkish and Austrian descent. He spent his childhood in France, Switzerland and North Africa and arrived in London in 1940 at the start of World War II. One memory of his youth was listening to a record by black pianist Jimmy Yancey during a German air raid. Corner said, from then on all I wanted to do was play the blues. After the war, Corner played piano and guitar, his first guitar was built by friend and author Sidney Hopkins. Who wrote Mr. God, This is Anna, and in 1949 joined Chris Barber's jazz band where he met blues harmonica player Cyril Davis. They started playing together as a duo, started the influential London Blues and Barrel House Club in 1955 and made their first record together in 1957. Corner made his first official record on Decca Records DFE 6286 in the company of Ken Collier's Skiffle Group. His talent extended to playing mandolin on one of the tracks of this rare British EP, recorded in London on July 28, 1955. Corner encouraged many American blues artists, previously virtually unknown in Britain, to perform at the London Blues and Barrel House Club, which he established with Davis at the Round House Pub in Soho. In 1961, Corner and Davis formed Blues Incorporated, initially a loose-knit group of musicians with a shared love of electric blues and R&B music. The group included, at various times, Charlie Watts, Jack Bruce, Ginger Baker, Long John Baldry, Graham Bond, Danny Thompson and Dick Hextall-Smith. It also attracted a wider crowd of mostly younger fans, some of whom occasionally performed with the group, including Mick Jagger, Keith Richards, Brian Jones, Jeff Bradford, Rod Stewart, John Mayall, and Jimmy Page. Although Cyril Davis left the group in late 1962, Blues Incorporated continued to record, with Corner at the helm, until 1966. However, by that time its originally stellar lineup had mostly left to start their own bands. While his one-time acolytes, the Rolling Stones and Cream, made the front pages of music magazines all over the world, Corner was relegated to the role of elder statesman. In 1966, Corner formed the trio Free at Last with Huey Flint and Binky McKenzie. Flint later recalled I played with Alexis, right after leaving the Blues Breakers, in a trio which Alexis named Free at Last, a sort of mini and slightly restricted version of Blues Incorporated. Playing. With Alexis was very loose. We would play anything from Percy Mayfield's River's Invitation to Charles Mingus' Better Get It In Your Soul Dash with lots of freaky guitar and bass solos. Alexis. Like John Mayall had the most eclectic taste in music, very knowledgeable, and generous, and I am indebted to both of them for my wide approach to music. Although Free at Last was short-lived, Corner ensured its name lived on in part by christening another young group of aspiring musicians free. Corner was instrumental in the formation of the band in April 1968 and continued to mentor them until they secured a deal with Island Records. Although he himself was a blues purist, Corner criticized better-known British blues musicians during the blues boom of the late 1960s for their blind adherence to Chicago blues, as if the music came in no other form. He liked to surround himself with jazz musicians such as John McLaughlin and Binky McKenzie and often performed with a horn section drawn from a pool that included. Among others, saxophone players Art Taman, Mel Collins, Dick Hextall-Smith, Lowell Coxell, Dick Morrissey, John Sermon and trombonist Mike Zwerin. In the 1960s, Corner began a media career, working initially as a show business interviewer and then on ITV's Five O'Clock Club, a children's TV show. Corner also wrote about blues for the music papers, and continued to maintain his own career as a blues artist, especially in Europe. On October 17, 1967, Corner interviewed the Jimi Hendrix experience for the BBC radio show Top Gear. Some of these tracks, including audio of Corner himself, appear on the Hendrix double CD BBC sessions, including Corner playing slide guitar on Hoochie Coochie Man. While touring Scandinavia he formed the band New Church with guitarist and singer Peter Thorup. They subsequently were one of the support bands at the Rolling Stones Free Concert in Hyde Park, London, on July 5, 1969. Jimmy Page reportedly found out about a new singer, Robert Plant, who had been jamming with Corner, who wondered why Plant had not yet been discovered. 
Plant and Corner were recording an album with Plant on vocals until Page had asked him to join the new Yardbirds, aka Led Zeppelin. Only two songs are in circulation from these recordings, Steal Away and Operator. Corner gave one of his last radio interviews to BBC Midlands on the Record Collector's show with Mike Adams and Chris Savory. Corner and Peter Thorup in Bremen in 1970, Corner and Thorup formed a big band ensemble, CCS, short for the Collective Consciousness Society, which had several hit singles produced by Mickey Most. Including a version of Led Zeppelin's Whole Load of Love, which was used as the theme for BBC's Top of the Pops between 1970 and 1981. Another instrumental called Brother was used as the theme to the BBC Radio 1 Top 2040 when Tom Brown slash Simon Bates presented the program in the 1970s. It was also used in the 1990s on Radio Luxembourg for the Top 20 Singles Chart. This was the period of Corner's greatest commercial success in the UK. In 1973, he provided a voice part for the Hot Chocolate single release Brother Louis. Corner with Snape in 1973, he and Peter Thorpe formed another group, Snape, with Boz Burrell, Mel Collins, and Ian Wallace, who were previously together in King Crimson. Corner also played on B.B. King's In London album, and cut his own, similar supersession album, Get Off My Cloud, with Keith Richards, Steve Marriott, Peter Frampton, Nicky Hopkins and members of Joe Cocker's Grease Band. In the mid-1970s, while touring Germany, Corner established an intensive working relationship with bassist Colin Hodgkinson who played for the support act Backdoor. They would continue to collaborate right up until Corner's death. In the 1970s, Corner's main career was in broadcasting. In 1973, he presented a unique six-part documentary on BBC Radio 1, The Rolling Stone Story, and in 1977 he established a Sunday night blues and soul show on Radio 1, Alexis Corner's Blues and Soul Show, which ran until 1981. He also used his gravelly voice to great effect as an advertising voiceover artist. In 1978, for Corner's 50th birthday, an all-star concert was held featuring many of his above-mentioned friends, as well as Eric Clapton, Paul Jones, Chris Farlow, Zoot Money and others, which was later released as the party album, and as a video. In 1981, Corner joined another supergroup, Rocket 88, a project led by Ian Stewart based on boogie-woogie keyboard players, which featured a rhythm section comprising Jack Bruce and Charlie Watts, among others, as well as a horn section. They toured Europe and released an album on Atlantic Records. He played in Italy with Paul Jones and the Blues Society of Italian bluesman Guido Toffoletti. In 1950, Corner married Roberta Melville, daughter of art critic Robert Melville. Corner died of lung cancer aged 55 years, on January 1, 1984. He was survived by a daughter, singer Sappho Gillett Corner and two sons, guitarist Nicholas Nico Corner and sound engineer Damien Corner. Thanks for watching.